all right everybody so today we're gonna discuss the most exciting and interesting thing which is top 10 python coding questions for data handling or data analysis which are asked in data science question data science interviews right so you must be getting question how is it decided so this is this is decided or shortlisted basis on my experience of giving the interview and my experience of taking the interviews and same from my friends and some bit of the google research as well right so basis on that i concluded the list of these 10 questions though the list was quite longer but out of that i tried to you know pick out the 10 questions which could be which will be starting from the simpler one and i will try to keep it something more than beginner or maybe you can say intermediate or little bit of advance as well okay so this will be kind of mix of all the three levels right so all right without wasting the time let's try with the first question so the first question out of 10 the first question is find the count of variables by data types and subset for numeric variables only right so here is a data frame that we have all right this is called data df right it has many columns let me show you a shape of this this is how you check the number of rows and columns not this is how but this is how okay so you see we have 50 columns and we need to figure out the data type for each of the columns whether it's numeric character or whatever it is and we need to create a second data frame let's say data frame 2 in which we need to keep only numeric variables out of that all right so without wasting the time let's so if you see this has three questions into it first one check find the count of variables right that is the first question second subset for numeric variables that is third question rather i can say second question is this third question is this and first question is how to find the data type for each of the variables so here is how you find the data type for each of the variables df dot d types so here you got the list of all the variables these are the list of variables and these are their data types. so if you see here we have int data type object etc etc now the point comes how would you know how many float variables are there so then you can take the count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 etc but that's going to be a very long task so don't worry here is what we got right count you can say count values all right now i just have to type it let's see if that works okay all right here here we go count value counts sorry value counts i was using the incorrect function sorry for that all right so here is what you get right so here if you see float are 18 variables int 16 and object 16 object means the kind of character uh, the character variables okay now we need to subset for this is how we know the count of variables by their data type okay now we need to pick only numeric variables which will be float and int right both of these two kind we have to pick so how can you do that so for that what you can say is uh, let's call the first data frame right so data frame name is what do you call it uh let's uh, okay fine so this is the original data frame and on that we're gonna call this function select data types and in that we're gonna call a parameter which is include and in that you can provide the list of all the data types which you want to fetch this is that simple okay it's very interesting now first we require float 64 and then we require int 64 don't worry there is no sequencing if you want to write say, uh, int first then you can do that as well and let's see the top 10 variables or top 5 variables okay so here we have the top 5 variables now let me show you the shape of this shape of this is just 34 so if you remember previously we had somewhere uh, more than uh, sorry 50 columns we had out of that 34 are numeric right so let's just store it in a data frame called numvars all right and in that we will take head so here is what we get now let's call this function on this d types dot value counts all right it's taking time so let me just quickly copy it from here and just put this over here 
all right so here you see float 18 and int 64 no object variable right so this is something uh, which is generally used when you are doing the data analysis it is used to explore the tables and let's say if you want to work on only numeric variables so this this technique you can use to subset the data for numeric variables only thank you very much see you in the next question